Hello, everyone. I'm Minghua Ma from Tsinghua University. Today, I will present our paper, Jumpstarting Multivariate Time Series Anomaly Detection for Online Service System. This is a joint work with cooperators Xingming Zhang from Nankai University, Junjie Chen from Tianjin University, Junxu from Georgia Tech, and Dan Pei from Tsinghua University. In recent years, online service systems based on cloud computing are becoming increasingly popular. However, these services may not always stable. For example, we may experience page not found error sometimes, right? System bugs, service interruptions, or performance issue will harm user experience, which lead to revenue loss. There are many real-world cases. A lot of news reported that large-scale service systems have unplanned outages which costs millions of dollars. Therefore, ensure service reliability is of great importance. To closely monitor the quality of service, online service provider continuously collect the monitoring data of each performance metric, such as CPU utilization, average response time, etc. Traditionally, operators build anomaly detectors for a univariate time series, UTS. However, UTS anomaly detection is not feasible when monitoring thousands of time series because building the model for each time series it needs to manually train, choose the process anomaly detection model and the train the parameter, right? Besides, the UTS anomaly detection methods cannot capture the complex relationship among different time series. They tend to cause alert storm and internoid operators. Therefore, the heated research topic is the multivariate time series, MTS, anomaly detection. Intuitively, modeling the expected status of service can benefit from more information in the MTS. These methods can capture the status of overall service system more effectively and efficiently. To modeling the expected status of service, almost all MTS anomaly detection approach use deep learning-based techniques such as LSTM, LSTM-VAE, and convolutionary LSTM. Because of the ability to learn normal pattern from existing data. However, these learning-based approaches are highly deployed to real practice because they usually require a long period of training data. More specifically, with a new service being deployed or updated, operators usually launch an anomaly detection approach for it. We define the initialization time of the anomaly detection approach is the time lag between when it is launched and when it becomes effective. Typically, deep learning-based approaches need a lot of time to train the model because of both accumulating training data and the training process. We list the suggested initialization time of four deep learning-based anomaly detection approach on their evaluation data sets. We can see that the an average initialization time of these approaches range from 10 days to more than 100 days. Therefore, it's inappropriate to use these approaches for newly deployed or updated system. Considering the long initialization time of learning-based anomaly action approach, one may suggest that using incremental retraining. It is gradually adding a short period of data to retrain. More specifically, we gradually enlarge the training set from one day's data to the largest training set of the data set. For a fair comparison, the online test sets stay the same. We then try to apply incremental retraining to the state-of-art MTS anomaly detection approach on any anomaly and the MACRID. We can see that the average F1 score of both approach increase along with more training data being used and they do not converge until 10 more days data is used for training. This suggests they do not achieve satisfactory performance when they are improved with incremental retraining due to their non-robustness and the considerable training cost. Then I will talk about our key idea using compressed sensing and its, key, its challenges. Compressed sensing is a signal processing technique where high energy components in an MTS metric are sparse. The intuition behind using CS for anomaly detection is that the anomalies in MTS, such as jitters, sudden drops, or surges, 
usually manifest themselves as strong signals that contain high energy component. We can then detect the anomalies by comparing the original and the reconstructed MTS using a fixed lens sliding window. This is the first step to use uh, CS for MTS anomaly detection to the best of our knowledge. Intuitively, we can apply CS to reconstruct in two ways. First, treating MTS as a whole matrix. Second, a separate UTS. These figures shows the original time series and the reconstructed uh, one using two Stroman solutions, respectively. We may find the former one has many false alarm because of uh, inaccurate reconstruction. The latter one still cannot capture the complex relationship and is time consuming. There is another challenge. A starting point of CS is to sample from an MTS. The sampled metric need to guarantee restricted asymmetry property called RIP. It has been proved that random Gaussian sampling satisfied RIP. However, the random sampling method that likely sample some data points from anomaly segments. Let's look at a uh, two example. Given a uh, time series, we use random sampling to obtain two sampling points phi1 and phi2. We can tell that phi2 is in the anomaly area. If we use this sampling point to reconstruct, we will obtain a time series with anomalies. Therefore, we need to improve the sampling algorithm. To tackle these challenges, we design JumpStarter, an anomaly detection approach of multivariate time series for online service system. This is the overview of JumpStarter which input is the online streaming MTS. The jump starter consists of both offline and online processing. In the offline, we cluster MTS based on one day of data. After a software change, it does not need to restart the offline processing again. The online processing, we use a sliding window to do a normal detection based on computer sensing. Next, I will explain each component in details. In particular, chip-based clustering and outliers resistance sampling algorithm. To tackle the challenge of a large amount of time series, we adopt a chip-based clustering time method. Since two Stroman solutions using CS have both pros and cons, we would like to combine the advantages of both sides. We try to split the MTS into several clusters of time series and reconstruct each cluster. Then how to make the right splitting? Recall the first uh, Stroman solution cannot deal with different shape of time series. Therefore, we choose to splitting the, the based on the shape of time series. We adopt the shape-based distance and hierarchical clustering. For example, the clustering result shows the time series are correlated to the, the physical meaning of their corresponding monitoring matrix. In this table, time series of CPU context, user CPU usage, and system usage, CPU usage are all CPU utilization matrix. This intuitively demonstrates that our method is accurate. For each group of MTS, we propose a neural outlier resistance sampling algorithm to solve the challenge introduced by sampling from anomaly segments. We gain insights that anomalies are usually outliers in an observation window. Besides, the value of time series have the time locality, which means that the adjacent value is similar. To illustrate the key idea of outlier resistance sampling, let's look at the previous two example. Recall that we get two sampling points, phi1 and phi2. Our core idea is still using these two sampling the time test step to guarantee RIP, but the value of sampling point can be modified to the normal value. To achieve this goal, we calculate the sampling confidence score using a lightweight algorithm. The higher value of sampling confidence is, the more chance of the value we will sample it. Note that the sampling confidence can be any UTS anomaly detector and our algorithm is robust to them. Then we use uh, the sampling timestamp phi1 and phi2. However, the value of these sampling points use adjacent value to 
to the moving average. The adjacent points are sampled by random Gaussian sampling together with the sampling confidence. We obtain the result, which value is almost the normal value of the time series. Next, we apply computer sensing to reconstruct each group of time series. After that, we calculate this uh, reconstructed time series, measure the difference between original and the recon reconstructed MTS as an anomaly score, and detect the anomalies using EVT threshold against the anomaly score. From compressed sensing reconstruction, I will not explain no, too much detail about math. We use a convex optimization tool for the calculation. We design calculation of a normal score also based on domain-specific insights. It tends to be effective in different data sets. For choosing a threshold, we use extreme value theory. This is our approach jump starter. We can set the initialization time as short as 20 minutes with a high detection accuracy. To explain, a learning-based approach has to learn the probability distribution of a MTS in order to capture its normal behavior. In comparison, in our approach, the restricted the reconstructed MTS inherits the normal value without understanding what is normal and what is not. We can conduct a comprehensive study to evaluate the performance of jump data based on three data sets from 28 and 13 large scale uh, industrial online service system from two internet companies respectively. The average best advanced score of jump starter across three data sets is 94%. It turns out that compressed sensing with our specific design can achieve better accuracy in anomaly detection than other approaches. Moreover, jump starter can quickly initialize and is computationally efficient. In particular, we will show two uh, technical outages uh, which jump starter can detect successfully. First, long service uh, response time caused by a network issue. Jump starter can pinpoint this anomaly and pinpoint the network related matrix. Second, there is hung up due to a software change. Thanks to jump starter, operators found out this error in time and quickly rule out the software change. For conclusion, in this work, we aim to design a quickly initialized anomaly detection approach for multivariate time series. We use the compressed sensing technique with shape-based clustering and outlier resistance sampling to tackle the practical challenges. Jump starter uses real-world online service system to evaluate and achieve good accuracy with a short initialization time. And our code and the data sets are open sourced in GitHub. That's all. Thank you for your attention.